de novo synthesis of fatty acids here de novo means from new that means from other than lipids so it is a non lipid precursor synthesis of fatty acids from acetyl coa which is a non lipid precursor non lipid source so that's why it is called as de novo fatty acid synthesis site of fatty acid synthesis the important tissues organs where it happens is liver mammary glands adipose tissue brain within the cell that is intracellular site the enzymes required for fatty acid synthesis they are present in the cytosol so the intracellular site is cytosol the coenzymes or cofactors required are nadph atp biotin in the starting material is acetyl coa and the end product is palmitate or palmitic acid and the enzymes required are acetyl coa carboxylase and fatty acid synthase cons the whole fatty acid synthesis can be divided into three stages stage 1 transport of acetyl coa from mitochondria to cytosol stage 2 formation of melanyl coa from acetyl coa in the cytosol and stage 3 is reactions of fatty acid synthase complex stage 1 actually de novo synthesis takes place in cytosol but acetyl coa which is the starting material for the de novo synthesis it is formed in the mitochondria from pyruvate so it should be transported to cytosol but acetyl coa as such cannot cross the mitochondrial membrane to overcome this problem acetyl coa crosses the mitochondria in the form of citrate so for this first acetyl coa is converted into citrate to so acetyl coa and oxaloacetate they condense to form citrate so this citrate is transported into cytosol by citrate translocation after entering into the cytosol citrate is cleaved to acetyl coa and oxaloacetate by citrate lyase acetyl coa released in this reaction is acted upon by acetyl coa carboxylase and fatty acid synthase for fatty acid synthesis to understand the synthesis of palmitic acid but why only palmitic acid because palmitic acid is the major fatty acid synth- which is synthesized in our body so palmitic acid basically is 16 carbon saturated fatty acid so during palmitic acid synthesis two carbons are added in each turn so for the synthesis of 16 carbon fatty acid total eight acetyl coa are required so out of eight acetyl coa required only one molecule of acetyl coa takes part in the synthesis as such remaining seven acetyl coa molecules they take part in the reactions of fatty acid synthesis in the form of melanyl coa so out of eight molecules of acetyl coa seven are converted into melanyl coa and these are involved in fatty acid synthesis so acetyl coa carboxylase is the enzyme which converts acetyl coa to melanyl coa so here acetyl coa is a two carbon compound and reacts with carbon dioxide and forms melanyl coa and this particular reaction is called as carboxylation it requires energy supplied by at and also it requires a coenzyme called as biotin so that is about uh, acetyl coa carboxylase which converts acetyl coa into melanyl coa now coming to fatty acid synthase complex it is a multi enzyme complex which is required for the fatty acid synthesis so this fatty acid synthase complex it unites one molecule of acetyl coa with seven molecules of melanyl coa by series of reaction to form 16 carbon palmitic so basically this fatty acid synthase is a multi enzyme complex with seven enzymes and one acyl carrier protein so this seven enzymes plus one acyl carrier protein together we call it as a one monomer so basically this fatty acid synthase complex is active in the form of dimer means two monomers together we call them as a dimer so this dimer form of fatty acid synthase complex is required or it is active it actually participates in the fatty acid synthesis so one monomer plus one more monomer it becomes a dimer so the the active groups in the fatty acid synthase complex are we call them the active sites of fatty acid synthase so sulfhydryl group on the acyl carrier protein and sulfhydryl group on the cysteine of keto acyl synthase so these two groups are actually the active sites of the fatty acid synthase complex so till now we have seen 
how the acetylcho is transported from the mitochondria into the cytosol and after entering into the cytosol how it is converted into melanyl coa by acetyl coa carboxylase and the next is the actual reactions of fatty acid synthesis involving this multi enzyme fatty acid synthesis complex so basically the reactions of fatty acid synthesis involved by fatty acid synthesis complex involves elongation and after that release of fatty acid so first we'll see how this elongation takes place. then we'll see the release of fatty acid after elongation so coming to elongation process so in the first reaction the binding of acetyl coa and melanyl coa units to acyl carrier protein of the fatty acid synthesis complex happen so during this process first a molecule of acetyl coa is attached to acp of fatty acid synthesis complex and this is catalyzed by acetyl trans acylase acetyl group acetyl unit is transferred to acp so as it is transferring the an acetyl group so the enzyme is called as acetyl trans acylase acetyl group is transferred so it forms acetyl acp so in the next step this two carbon acetyl unit is transferred to sulfhydryl group of cysteine residue of the beta keto acyl acp synthesis so it moves from acp sulfhydryl group to cysteine sulfhydryl group so due to this movement due to this transfer of uh, acetyl group from acp to the cysteine sulfhydryl group it creates a vacant acp now acp becomes vacant so this vacant acp now accepts melanyl coa from the uh, melanyl group from the melanyl coa so this reaction is catalyzed by melanyl trans acylase so now since both acetyl and melanyl groups are attached to the fatty acid synthase enzyme the whole enzyme is now called as acetyl melanyl enzyme so elongation process actually involves four reaction condensation reduction dehydration and again reduction so during elongation two carbon units are added to the growing chain all the reactions that take place when the reactant molecules are still attached to the ac so coming to first reaction in the elongation condensation acetyl coa and melanyl coa units they condense to give a four carbon compound called as beta keto acyl acp so during this condensation one carbon is released as carbon dioxide so next step reduction so beta keto acyl acp is reduced to beta hydroxy acyl acp so here for reduction we require nadph third reaction is dehydration so from beta hydroxy acyl acp one water molecule is released removed and to form alpha beta unsaturated acyl acid and this reaction is catalyzed by dehydratase and coming to the fourth reaction the last one in the elongation reduction so this alpha beta unsaturated unsaturated acyl acp is reduced to butyryl acp by reductase after the sequence of four reactions in the elongation process a four carbon saturated compound is obtained that is butyrate and this butyrate is still attached to the acyl carrier protein so at the end of sequence of four reactions in elongation four carbons are added as butyrate but palmitic acid is a 16 carbon fatty acid so 12 more carbon should be added to complete the synthesis of palmitic acid for this the four carbon compound that is butyrate is transferred from acyl carrier protein to the cysteine residue of beta keto acyl synthase of fatty acid in complex so this makes the acp vacant so the next molecule of melanyl coa that is the second molecule of melanyl coa so from the second molecule of melanyl coa the melanyl unit is transferred to acp it binds with acp so after binding of second molecule of melanyl unit to the vacant acp again the four reactions that is condensation reduction dehydration and again the second reduction happens these are repeated so that after the end of four reactions we get six carbon fatty acid so this six carbon fatty acid is attached to the acp again this six carbon fatty acid is transferred from the acp to the cysteine sulfhydryl group so this makes acp vacant after that again one more molecule of melanyl coa that is third molecule of melanyl coa binds to the vacant acp again a sequence of four reactions are repeated condensation reduction dehydration and reduction so at the end of four reaction an eight carbon fatty acid is synthesized this is still attached to the acp and this eight carbon fatty acid will be moved from acp to 
16 sulfidyl group again that makes a vacancy in the acp one more molecule of melanyl coi now the fourth molecule of melanyl coi binds to the acp and again sequence of reactions are repeated so elongation involves addition of two carbons of melanyl until 16 carbon fatty acid is synthesized so after the sequence of Uh, reactions during elongation two two carbons will be added so that leads to finally formation of a 16 carbon fatty acid attached to the acp so after this elongation once the 16 carbon fatty acid is synthesized this has to be released from the acp so this release of fatty acid that is palmitic acid from the acp is catalyzed by thioesterase so with this the fatty acid synthesis is complete